How do you wean the calves on your farm? Weaning is a very stressful operation. As a matter of fact, it's only second to the process of, of birth. So again, we must realize that we're putting that calf under a lot of stress when we're weaning him from, from its mom. Uh, a new technique that is uh, getting a lot of attention is called fence line weaning. And uh, this is simply weaning that calf while he has access to his mom across the fence, but, but it cannot uh, nurse. First off, uh, if we're thinking about fence line weaning, we need to bring the cows and the calves into the lot where we're uh, going to be doing the weaning. Uh, that way the calf can learn from its mother how to drink, uh, you know, where the water is, uh, that that feed over there in that feed bunk is something that uh, is okay for, for the calf to eat. That way then they have a chance to get comfortable with their surroundings. Next, we need to sort the cows out of that uh, lot uh, so that only the calves are going to be left and then have the cows uh, just across the fence from those calves. This needs to be a, a well-constructed fence and one that will not allow that calf to put its head through and still continue to nurse. But this fence line uh, weaning procedure does seem to be a lot less stressful than uh, conventional weaning of simply taking the calf away from its mom, either having it, uh, uh, you know, going to market or being uh, a considerable distance away from its, its mother. Uh, it seems that, you know, just that calf seeing its mom does reduce a lot of stress. A trial that was done that, that compared a number of methods of, of weaning uh, was done by some researchers and uh, the data there uh, strongly indicates that fence line weaning is something that uh, that we need to be looking a lot closer at. If you look at the table that we now have on the screen, you'll see here that the calves are spending more time eating and resting, and they're spending less time walking and, uh, and vocalizing or bawling. So common sense just tells you that uh, if, you know, if they're gonna be eating and drinking and, and not, um, not doing a lot of walking, that they're gonna be under a lot less stress than, than one that, that would be. Uh, some other things we may want to consider if we think about reducing stress at weaning is to go ahead and perform some of the management practices prior to weaning. Some of these could include castration or dehorning because these are very stressful type operations. We just don't want to add uh, additional stress to what is actually being occurred there at, at weaning time. Uh, it's also very desirable to complete all the vaccinations and in most cases that's going to be uh, two different sets of shots 14 to 28 days apart. This way the calves will have already developed immunity and can withstand the uh, extra stress that they're going to be incurring there at, uh, at weaning time. I may want to take a closer look too at a preconditioning program and that is one where we're not only getting the vaccinations taken care of, we're teaching that calf to eat and we're taking about 45 days as a minimum uh, for that calf to grow, gain some additional weight and help pay for that cost of weaning and the cost of any antibiotics and uh, vaccine that was used. So this is another thing that can be done to help produce a calf that's going to be more desirable in the marketplace. Like I say, fence line weaning is a weaning procedure that does reduce the stress on the animals. I, would like to recommend that uh, as a possible option for you when you think about weaning your next set of calves. If you'd like additional information on fence line weaning or other topics related to beef production, contact your local extension agent.